It was basically hijacking his phone. Many of the most popular branded websites out there, including your bank and your, your brokerage account, lets you enable two-factor authentication. What that means is you not only do you need your username and password to log into the site, but the site will text you a six-digit code, and you have to put in the code to complete the login process. And that confirms that you actually have that mobile phone. So it's something you know your password and something you have, which is your cell phone. And there's no way to hack into a SIM card. It has crypto keys. And unless you have a certain key called the KI, you can't really do anything with it. It's easier to trick the phone company into switching the SIM card to the one that the attacker has in his or her possession. You have to use social engineering. And what social engineering is, it's using manipulation, deception, and influence to trick a target into doing something or complying with a request. In the case of DeRay McKisson, who is a black rights activist, what these hackers did is they called Verizon pretending to be DeRay McKisson and basically said that he had a problem with his phone, he, had a, they had, he has to put in a new SIM card. So they verified his identity, then they activated the new SIM. So now when the text message came in for the two-step authentication, it went to the bad guy's phone. So they got the code and were able to access his account. Another way of bypassing two-factor authentication is phishing. So they'll basically send you a message pretending to be from you know, Google or Microsoft or whoever you're doing the two-factor authentication through and you know, try to trick you into texting the code back at that time. And then the, the attacker will go ahead and use that code to log into your account as long as you text that code within 60 seconds because it changes every 60 seconds. Um, so that's a kind of a amateurish type of attack, but it works. Mm -hmm.